let me recognize the Mayor of Sulawesi, members of Parliament, diplomatic corps that are here, ambassadors and high commissioners, also as part of the central government, permanent secretary, and your colleagues that may be here visiting you here in Solwezi Mwani, Mwane, Mwani Mwane, Mwani Mwane, the Lundas know why I'm saying that, and the Kaondes and Lubales know why I'm saying Mwani Mwane. Thank you. Oh, Mwani Mwane Mwani. I don't want to pick a quarrel with either Lundas or Kaondes or Lubales. That's why I'm saying Mwane Mwani. Let me recognize all our local authority leaders. I've mentioned the mayor of Solwezi, but there are council chairpersons from other councils in this province, but also from other provinces. Councillors that are present, but not in that order, but maybe more importantly, recognize the International Labour Organization representatives, our own president of the Zambia Congress of Trade Unions. Really, this is the day for workers, so due recognition goes to the ZCTU and other union leaders that are here, workers' unions, to the employer's representative. Madam, thank you for your speech and also the speech delivered by the ZCU president. I listened to the two speeches very, very carefully. As I have said to many citizens, I'm a perpetual student myself, and I'm always attentive when people are speaking at public platforms and in electronic media. Then you learn something, you pick something that is bothering a group of people or more, so to say. So I listen to your speeches. Thank you very much. Let me recognize also all the colleagues, all the colleagues from business, specific companies that employ people here in Northwestern province and across the country. You are all appreciated. I must indicate that council workers, councils are very, very large employers across the country. So the council managers will recognize you, the council workers, and the general workforce in our country. The general workforce, this is Labor Day, this is your day. Let me also acknowledge the presence of the press Sometimes we ignore them, but when they don't cover us, we get unhappy. So we recognize you, the press. After all, some of you are employers within the press, some of you are employees within the, the press. So you are duly recognized. Let me simply say, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm a happy person. I'm a happy servant of yours because we are fulfilling our pronouncement. Our pronouncement when we took office constituted, amongst the many things we said, we indicated that we shall run this country differently, but better. We shall be inclusive, and we will ensure that state functions, we shall ensure that state functions are not just held in Lusaka, all the time in Lusaka. Any state function, public function, it was held in Lusaka for so many years. I must say 58 or so years, all the national functions were performed in Lusaka. And we made a commitment to you that Lusaka is not Zambia and Zambia is not Lusaka. 
Absolutely not. And that is why I am delighted that we had the Women's Day in Livingston. We had the Youth Day in Chipata. Only a few days ago, we are celebrating 100 years of Dr. Kenneth David Buchizia Kaunda. In Chinsari, just a few days ago, we were in Chinsari. And how delighted I am today that we are in Solwezi to celebrate the Labor Day. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Wonderful indeed. Who is not happy to mix with the people of Solwezi like this? Who is not happy to interact with the people of Manyinga, Mufumbwe, Kasempa, Kabompo, Zambezi, Chavuma, the people of Kalumbila, Lumwana, the people of Mwinilunga, the people of Ikeleng. This is how the country must be. And I'm very delighted that we are here because it shows the importance of all the corners of Zambia are very important. And you have heard me say places many of you from this province don't even know in Kashinakash. In, Akash, in Kashinakash. Yes, in Kashinakash. In Mumbeji. In Kashiji. In Chinya Maritape. This is the way I know Zambia to be. Munokumbwa mane? Munokumbwa mane? You must be proud to be from Northwestern Province. You must be proud, Zambians, to be from Luapula, Muchinga, Western. You must be proud to be Zambians from Eastern, Copper Belt, Central, Southern. One Zambia. One Zambia. One nation. Ah, listen now. One Zambia, one nation, one nation, one people. Munogumba? Munogumba, man. One Zambia. One nation. We are truly one people. And unity is the basis of everything that we do. That is my message to start with. On this Labor Day, we are celebrating in Solwezi, in Northwestern Province, in Zambia. Unity is the bedrock of what we do. No teamwork at the office, at the mine, low productivity. Mr. Mlala, you have heard me. No unit, no teamwork at a company, at a mine, on the farm, no pulling skills together, low productivity will result. So let me continue by saying we celebrate today's Labor Day with that understanding that Zambia is one and that we are one people in the homes, in the markets. That's why we have stopped fights in the markets. No more fights in the markets. In the bus stops, no more fights in the bus stops. Law and order. That's part of our agenda to unify this country. Some of you don't see it. You see little things we pronounce but we see the big picture. We see the jigsaw puzzle, and we work to pull it together. If we think Lusaka is Bamba Zonke, then that's why your money was being stolen through corruption. The big thieves live in Lusaka. The big thieves live in Lusaka. That is why we've taken money away from the big thieves in Lusaka, and they've taken it to the provinces and away from this provincial center, we've taken it to the districts. And away from the districts, 
We have taken it to the constituencies through the Constituents Development Fund from 1.6 million kwacha per constituents per year to 30.6 million kwacha per constituents per year. That is deliberate. That is intentional to send money to all the constituencies of Zambia to allow the constituencies at that level, 156 of them, to make decisions as to what their priorities are. Very deliberate, very intentional, methodical. When we took office, a lot of my colleagues in opposition used to make noise. Ah, what is this methodical? Even in the UPND. By the way, I want to recognize the UPND, the party in office, the one that made us to be who we are in office, all the national management through the Secretary General, all the provincial leadership, district, constituents, ward, and branches. We recognize you. Without you, HH would have never been the president of Zambia. So thank you for that. But I'm also aware this is a constitutional democracy. We recognize all the political parties that are here, even those that don't want to be here, we recognize you because we know you are watching what is happening here in Sorwes. We know that. So we recognize you. You have a role to play in a constitutional democracy. One Zambia. One nation. I was talking about ZCTU president, employers, president, that we are now deliberately taking money into the constituencies and then businesses will be supported and created in the constituencies. Those businesses in the constituencies will employ people, your members for the unions, and also your members for the employers, right at the grassroots level. This is the intention of this government, and we are working the talk. By that, we will be able to employ people at the local level where they live, and they don't have to travel thousands of kilometers to go to look for jobs. This is the intention. A hey, boom. That is the intention. I'm, I'm spending a bit of time around this issue to make Zambians understand that we will be able to create more jobs by taking money to the local areas, as we're doing with CDM, as we're doing the council equalization funds. That's why you see councillors, councils, in fact, councillors now, since January, are also having a better pay. It has never happened since the history of this country that councillors are better remunerated. Councillors, you must acknowledge those good things. Ah, Mnogungwa. Mnogungwa. Let me continue the storytelling very briefly. It is at a local jo level where farming jobs, more farming jobs will be created. Look at these droughts. 84 districts. But now we want more money to go in irrigation farming. More money must go into the irrigation farming. For the unions, you will have more workers working in the sector. For the employers, you will be able to grow your businesses and to employ more people. I thought I should start with that higher level in my speech, in my messaging. Having said that, let me indicate that the theme is so appropriate today. Today is Labor Day, workers at the heart of Zambia's economic recovery. True indeed. I have said in the past, there is no employer without employees. No employer will exist without employees. Then you are not an employer. No investor will exist without employees. So as we celebrate the centrality of workers in our economic recovery program, we celebrate invariably employers, investors. We celebrate invariably 
the tripartite partnership, Mr. Mulala, the workers, the employers or investors, number two, number three, the government, your government. So we celebrate these three partners, yet we make the workers central to the economic recovery program. But as there would be no employer without employees, there would be no employee without an employer. But also government plays an important role, not just as employers. As you know, this government, Madam Hankanga, I was listening to you when you were saying close to or around 40,000 public sector workers have employed since we took office two years, two months ago. That number is too low, madam. That number is only for around teachers only. Teachers only. What about health workers? What about policemen? A number of our children are undergoing training now to become policemen. And they are recruited from across the country. No segregation. As I said to you, one Zambia, one nation, one people. More soldiers have been recruited. More correctional service workers. I'm a proud worker of yours, servant of yours, to say when we recruit teachers, nurses, policemen, soldiers, correctional service workers, national service, we are recruiting from all the ten provinces of Zambia without looking at the name of that young person. As long as they are Zambians, we are recruiting. Totally different from what it was before. I want anyone in this crowd to challenge what I've said, that me in my province, no one has been recruited since the UPND came into office. There will be none. Also, you don't have to pay anybody money. If someone in government is asking you to pay money for you to be employed, send that name. I will find them and I will deal with those individuals. What am I saying? Why am I saying so? ZCTU. I'm saying so because the government is one, if not the largest employer. It's a very, very large employer. So your members, a lot of them work for the government. And we must flourish this tripartite partnership. Labor, employers, investment if you like, and government. I'm emphasizing this on this Labor Day because none will exist without the other. But yes, workers remain central because they are the engine. They are basically the ones that function. I hope you got my message. The workers must know as we support workers, by the way, Mr. Mulala, I heard your point that some teachers have not been upgraded. We will work on that. I've got that message. I've got that message. We will work on that. State House team, make a note. Labor Minister, make a note so that we address that anomaly. It's definitely an anomaly which needs to be addressed. So I want to agree with you. So. Let me indicate here that we cherish workers. I'm a worker myself. The president is your worker. I'm your employee. I work for you. And I know that to better this country, given the challenges that we have, the debt mountain that we inherited, the negative economy that we inherited, Zambians do forget sometimes, sometimes quickly. Not long ago, our economy had declined to minus 2.8% GDP, which is a subtraction. And in two and a half years, we've been able to upgrade this minus 2.8 growth to 4.3% in 2023. It's a lot of hard work. I know you don't see it with your eyes now, 
But I see it myself. And I can see where we are going. But I understand where you stand, the challenges we're facing, the difficulties we had, including the debt default, meaning we were bankrupt, completely bankrupt. And me as your worker, as your chief worker, I must work hard. I must be productive. And you as my fellow workers must also be productive. Work does not mean eight hours to 17 hours. Work does not mean reporting for work only. It means delivering deliverables. It means completing your assignments on time. It means higher levels of productivity. I think you have heard me. Then we will be true centers of economic recovery as workers. I know when I ask Zambians to work hard, they keep quiet and look down because they were used to tantamen. Tantamen will not recover our economy. To Sakatwandalama will never recover our economy. It is work, work, and more hard work. That's what I ask my fellow workers. That is what I ask my fellow workers when the economy is stressed, when we default in debt, we must work harder. We must not count hours. We must count what we have achieved. That's the difference. That's the difference. And then we will recover the economy, we will grow the economy, we will attract more investment. And when investments come, now I turn to employers and investors. You must work hard as well. You must invest prudently. You must reinvest your profits when you make your profits. Don't chew your profits. Don't eat the seed. I'm referring to employers now. Because the opportunity is created, the environment is better, the mining sectors. Let me give you an example. Before change of government in 2021, I know Lumana was talking about selling. Yes, that's true. First Quantum was talking about selling because the environment was bad. Kansanshi Mine had only two or three years, maximum four years to close down. Kansanshi Mine. And I saw people marching here from Kansanshi Mine. That mine was about to close. It had only a few more years to go. When we came in, as government, we said, don't go yet. We will do something to make you stay. But we also know a business cannot stay if it's not making money. Simple. Simple. We improved the economic environment. We improved the mining regime, the tax regime, fiscal regime. And my colleagues in the opposition were criticizing us. They didn't understand where we were going. You can't walk blindly. You must know exactly which point you want to go to and how to get there. For us to keep the mines, not to exit the investors that were there, not to leave the country, we had to make the sector attractive. We had to make changes to the policies, to make the policies attractive, to make the policies stable, and not to change them every so often. And First Quantum decided not to close, but to bring more money, $1.5 billion. Kansanshi now has a longer life. And workers, this is Labor Day, will continue working in Kansanshi. That's how you run a country. That's how you run a country. Also, we have opened the largest nickel mine on the African continent through first quantum. What else? Lumana has made a decision to invest another $2 billion in expanding Lumana mine, more jobs. 
more stability. That is important for the unions. That's important for the workers. Because if the investors leave, then your jobs are gone. And this government does not want to see your jobs gone. What we are asking investors, before I go there, I want to announce here that we are working hard. We worked very hard. Before I say we are working hard, we worked very hard to restore Mopani mine. And only a month or so ago, we were launching the new partnership in Mopani. And Mopani mine now will move from a production level of 65,000 tons to 230,000 tons. More jobs, more business opportunities. more families that will be happier. KCM, very complicated. We now are left with a few days only. ZCTU, Mine Workers Union, or Union, since there are a number of them. And we believe after hard work we'll close KCM, very complicated. It was in court for many years. We took it out of court. So was First Quantum in court for 11 years. We took them out of court. We don't do business in the UPND government in court. We do business in the boardrooms. We do mining at the mine sites, not in courts. These are the necessary boats and nuts to build an economy, to recover an economy for the workers to be at the center of that recovery. That's the message here. That is the message here. How would the worker be at the center of the economic recovery if there is no expansion of investment, if companies are closing down? Others were closing down companies. We have come to open the companies. Who is better now? Then you tell me, Ah. Uh. Mines were closing down under the previous regime. Now we are reopening the mines. We are expanding the mines. Then you go around at Ndeverelapo, Ndeverelapo. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want Kansanshi to close. This is serious. This is not a joke. Avena Solweza, Avena Copper Belt, Avena Northwestern, Avena Zambia. You must understand what is at stake. If someone tells you Alewe Lelapo, means more fights at the bus stops, more fights at the markets, more blood. We are going through this pain because of the poor leadership and poor management of those that were in office before. And we are solving these problems now. And I know the pain you are going through. I understand. We understand. That's why we are working very hard to resolve these issues. But when the investors come, companies, you the companies, we who are also employers, me I'm both an employee of yours, but I'm also an employer of some people. We employers must take care of the workers. You haven't heard me. The employers must take care of the employees, must take care of the workers. So that the workers can be more productive at work. You see how these th things are organized, they are intertwined. You got my message. Employers, let's take care of our employees, including government as an employer. That is why your government said to you we will introduce a 20% advance withdrawal of your NAPSA. And many were saying 
It's not possible. NAPSA will go bankrupt. NAPSA paid billions. I saw the screen when they passed here. I told you I'm attentive. I saw the billions that they paid on the 20% NAPSA partial payment. But NAPSA is not bankrupt. It's going strong. The money is now being used by the workers, the owners, before they grow old. Zanis, 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 ah, Majelas, mwao na Majelas, ka? Nika amba ukamba vakare, ae kakoti vaka pulinga pa vachosa pa, ah, ya. Bate haka inde uhanjika, uhanjika, uhanjika hie, so that si chaba. Siutwe. My colleagues, fellow workers, it's a happy day for you. It's a difficult day at the same time. But for it to make it a better and happier day on the next Labor Day, next year, the years coming ahead, we must work hard now to rebuild this economy, which was destroyed. That's why I'm very happy to say that we have achieved debt restructuring, a very, very difficult assignment. And I know what I'm talking about. I'm a transactions person myself. That's what I used to do in my full-time business days. This was a very complicated transaction. But thank you to our creditors. Thank you to our colleagues, partners. Many countries of the world supported us to achieve debt restructuring. We achieved what was called a mission impossible. But we're here, hard work. And thank you for your support, people of Zambia. First, for electing us into office, so we could work for you. Two, for your patience. Now that we've achieved this, Mark, we still have a bit of work to do, housekeeping, to conclude properly all the transactions, including one segment of the debtors that were, sorry, creditors that we're still working on. But we are well underway to have a full conclusion. Now our attention is economic expansion. It is investment, agriculture, mining, mining houses here in Solwezi, Kansanshi, Kalumbila Rumana. I said it before we formed the government. When you are looking for a job or an employee, you have a job rather, and you are looking for an employee, you must first look within the northwestern province before you look outside northwestern province. Maybe you didn't hear me. Mine houses, employers, if you are Kansanshi, Kansanshi, you are Lumana, you are Kalumbila. Before you look outside the province, it's only normal that you must throw your eyes and look for someone suitable to be employed in northwestern province here. When you can't find one in northwestern, you can look at the rest of the country. So first, northwesterners for the business is best here. For the businesses based on the copper belt, first the copper belt people. Businesses based in northern province, eastern, southern, central, western, you are an employer. First, you look at the local people in your area. That is where your eyes must go. If you don't find them, then you can go national. Don't misunderstand me here. I didn't say that employ only people from that province. I said, first, take care of the people in the local areas. Even us, me, when I was looking for a girl to marry, I was looking around first. I didn't want to look and go far. <laughs> one Zambia, one nation. How can you travel a thousand kilometers to go and look for a, a woman to marry? 
you look around first. You may find. If you don't find, you can cross lines. One Zambia, one nation. You got my message, employers. Look at the local area, the workforce around you. If they are not well qualified, send them to college. Send them to college. That's what Zambian government and the UPN is doing. We have introduced skills training. I'm very happy to see young people who marched here and received me at the airport who are undergoing skills training, carpentry, plumbing, brick layer, brick laying, metal workshop, everything, who we deliberately are sponsoring so that they can get skills. I am asking employers to do the same. Other employers, I mean, government is the employer. Let us do the same. Then we can make workers truly at the center of our economic recovery. That's a message. But workers, you should be willing to learn. If your skills are inadequate, be willing to learn. Then you sharpen your skills, you improve opportunities for employment. Kwamana. Kwamana. Dim, 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 dim. For non lunders they think I'm driving a car. When I say dim, <laughs> I said yes. We lunders say dim. Huh? When we're agreeing with you, we say dim. Enga. 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 Chamwaz. Chamwaz Aman. So, what else do we want? We want to expand businesses, the economy, so that we can create business opportunities. Employers, minds, please let's understand each other. The government will support you to our abilities, the best of our abilities. But you must also support the people of Zambia by employing them, one, two, by giving contracts to Zambian businesses as well. I can see people are struggling to get my matrix of messages. I am saying the government will support employers, mine owners, other employers, but we also want you to support Zambians by employing more of them, but also support them by giving businesses to Zambian companies as well. That's my message. Then we grow the labor force. Then we have a true, bigger Labor Day next year. I've gone round. I think the message is delivered. Message is delivered. Let me indicate something as I close. That we businesses must invest in the local infrastructure as well. We want to work with you to see a better Solwezi in terms of roads. A better Solwezi in terms of roads. A better Solwezi in terms of health service delivery, more hospitals here. I am aware of the hospital that was launched but has not been constructed. I'm very aware of that. And we are working on that. Because the current hospital is too small. It hasn't got enough equipment. So your government, working with the private sector, employers, investors, we should improve, we will improve the hospital capacity in Sorwezi and health services capacity elsewhere in this province and across the country. Munogumwa. Then we can employ more nurses, we can employ more doctors, we can employ more paramedics. What else? Northwestern province. We want this province to produce more food. More food through irrigation, Kabompo River. Let's utilize the water. 
Mudanyama River, Lunga River. You know I know this province. You know. I said Mudanyama River. That is why we are working on infrastructure. Manyinga Kabompo through Kashinakaji to Minilunga Road. We are working very hard and you will see an improved road, Minilunga Road, Solwezi Road, Minilunga Road, all the way up to on the other side. Mufumbwe, Manyinga, Kabompo, Zambezi, Chavuma. We're looking at that road. The quality wasn't too good, so we'll be working on it. I am happy to announce that I have also directed the Minister of Infrastructure that what we went through crossing Kabompo River at Watopa through the pantoon should come to an end. We are putting a bridge there. We are putting a bridge there. You didn't hear me. At Watopa there, I have instructed the Minister of Infrastructure that there must be a bridge, a suitable bridge there at Watopa across Kabompo River. He is just done bridges on Kashiji River, Bailey Bridges. Just completed a couple of bridges there. I'm talking about infrastructure here. So that investments can go across the corners of this province and this country. And then we can create more jobs, more labor. And we're going to have a bigger labor day next year and the years to come. That's a connection. And workers truly will become the center of economic reconstruction. I can go on. I don't want to do that because you have heard my message. Unions, I hear your concern on NIMA. We are committed to sitting down with you as unions, as employers, to discuss NIMA. And in that room, when we sit, we will go in with open minds and will share ideas, reasoning, and will come out in unison. Because what we want is the best for workers. What we want is the best for employers. What we want is the best medical health insurance and health service delivery to our workers. If the workers are not healthy, they will not be productive. It's as simple as that. That's the message. So, Minister of Labor, Minister of Health, we work with our colleagues, our partners, employers, employees, to schedule a meeting. We are ready to dialogue. What we do not want to see is toy toy in the streets. I don't, want, I don't want to mention names. Some countries, strikes are every day in the streets, toy toy, burning factories. So if you burn a factory, where are you going to work? tomorrow. If you flood a mine, where are you going to work tomorrow? When we have a challenge, labor, employers, government, we should always sit together and resolve our challenges. You got a message. Everything is on the table to dialogue. Nothing is on the table to friction on to fight. No. We talk to each other, we reason to each other. We want to congratulate the workers, deserving workers, countrywide, who receive Labor Day awards today. Congratulations to all of you. 
Those who will not receive awards, continue working hard. Next year it will be you. That's how things work. Happy Labor Day to all our fellow workers. Long live the Zambian worker. Long live the Zambian worker. Long live the Zambian worker. Long live the Zambian employer and investor. One and the same. Long live Zambia. May God bless you all. To a son, Tabi Ngimane. To a Sakwi Lachikumamane. To Nasaki Kimani. Zambiwe to a Muguru at Kwashimani. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.